Entire Broncos team just woke to worse news of the season after they didn't listen, too late now. They say if you want to know why something is happening, all you have to do is follow the money. Unfortunately for the NFL, they grossly miscalculated what would be the results of their stance on the national anthem protest started by Colin Kaepernick and all of those supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. The plan was obviously to bring awareness to an issue that they considered to be problematic, however, all they seem to have drawn awareness to is the rampant nature of the entitled racist mindset held by many players that most of the NFL fans wanted to overlook. In the case of the Denver Broncos, their plight is worse than most. Not only do they have to deal with the league itself tanking as the ratings and ticket sales go down the drain, their local sponsors are pulling away from them in droves. Broncos linebacker Brandon Marshall was at one time a college teammate of Kaepernick and an early convert to the cause. This caused Marshall to lose some of his personal endorsements, but even bigger than that is the mass exodus from the team itself. Westward reports that local radio stations are starting to lose advertisers for the slots taken up during the broadcasts of the Broncos games. At least two advertisers have asked that their commercials no longer run during COA's radio broadcasts of Denver Broncos games because they're upset by national anthem-related demonstrations prior to the kickoff of NFL games. Yeah, there's been a couple that have pulled out, confirms Tim Hager, market manager for iHeartMedia's Denver stations, including COA, and that's the rationale. No matter what the entitled millionaires think, the small business in the heartland just aren't going to want to be associated with a group that is against everything we stand for. Controversy bubbled up again last month when teams throughout the league took part in various protests before and during the playing of the anthem, and this time around, there was fallout for Von Miller, the Broncos' biggest star. Miller's decision to take a knee, along with dozens of teammates, was followed by reports that Phil Long dealerships had dropped him as an endorser. Miller's reps subsequently insisted that his deal with the company had lapsed months earlier and negotiations were ongoing, but a statement from the firm strongly suggested that he shouldn't hold his breath waiting for a new pact to be signed. It read in part, when we bring in celebrities to represent us, we run the risk of being misinterpreted. Basically what Phil Long dealerships is saying is that when they entrust their name to a celebrity, their reputations are entwined at that time. In other words, if that celeb acts badly, it reflects badly on the business that they're endorsing. We've seen this in the past with other businesses who got mud on their face because someone that they entrusted with their brand acted badly. Hager characterizes, their reasons for pulling their ads, as general displeasure with the NFL over the controversy. In response, he says, we immediately found ways for the advertisers to get their message out and support what they wanted to support. And we've also been airing the national anthem in our game broadcasts, which we didn't do before this year. So we've found ways to strengthen what we're doing. Americans are still working on wearing down the NFL on a national level, but at least for now the local stations are beginning to see just how importation patriotism is to the American people. It was one thing when an individual player wasn't willing to respect the flag, but with signs of disrespect across virtually every team in the league. It's a problem too large to ignore. Television ratings for NFL contests are reportedly down by 7.5% compared to this time last year, and many pundits think the protests are one of the main reasons. However, Hager says Coa's broadcasts, starring new booth mates Dave Logan and Rick Lewis, haven't suffered the same fate. Hager, acknowledges that there was a groundswell immediately after, the September protest, happened but that's calmed down. Right now, I'm not seeing anything that has me overly concerned. Good thing, because iHeartMedia recently launched Orange and Blue Radio, a station at 760 AM that boasts of being all Broncos, all the time. And more kneeling by Denver players could be very bad for business. There's going to come a time very soon when the Broncos and all the other teams who insist on being disrespectful will have to choose between their principles and staying in business. This isn't an issue that Americans are ready to let go, probably because it's chipping away at the very foundation of our country's ability to stay free. The sooner this protest is put to rest, the more likely we will be able to show the rest of the world that those of us with integrity are still indivisible.
if visible.